I think it's kind of sad how the YouTube community has let the alt-right rise to the levels that it has. Instead of really talking about groups of people who are truly pushing out racist stuff, people are focusing on stupid things like, oh, characters in video games, or characters in movies. And then, of course, people are responding to those that are, that are saying things about these characters. You're going to take away my games! Just like if someone dares to talk about uh, any sort of gun regulations, and I'm not talking about some of the unreasonable ones, or, oh, let's ban the guns, or, you know, I'm just talking about, like, you know, background checks or something like that. You know, the kind of things that even Reagan would, uh, you know, supported. Um, even the slightest mention of stuff is, you're going to take away our guns! It's just like, uh, no. Um... You know, and someone can, like, okay, for myself, okay, I don't think that we should uh, make cigarettes illegal. However, I would be happy as a clam if they were made illegal. You know, I would feel sorry for those who are addicted to cigarettes, but, you know, I would be happy as a clam because then I wouldn't have to deal with all the cigarette smoke all the time. Um, you know, where people are smoking in entrances to buildings, um, people are smoking in the uh, drive through sections to, uh, you know, fast food restaurants, um, uh, you know, but that doesn't mean that I, s I am going to actively support making it illegal. So, you know, some of the, some of the people when it comes to the guns thing, are like, you know, they're saying about Hillary, oh, Hillary, Hillary's going to take away our guns. And I'm like, um, no, because you, you guys have been saying the same thing for the past eight years when it comes to Obama. Obama's going to take away our guns. No, I, it doesn't really seem that's the case. Oh, well, 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 you know, Hillary said that she doesn't like guns. Well, a big whoop de fucking do. Does that mean she's she's really gonna take she's gonna make them illegal or something? Um so and I know I've kind of went far off the path on this, uh, but the ways that people react to uh, the SJWs and the feminists are what or what prop this stuff up? I mean, it's the same thing as people focusing on Anita Sarkeesian. It's just like, well, if nobody would have given a shit about what Anita Sarkeesian said, she she wouldn't have been considered uh, one of the top uh, hundred uh, most influential people, uh, you know, in Time Magazine. You know, for instance, she she wouldn't have gotten to these levels if people wouldn't have reacted so extremely to what the things that they're saying. So instead of us focusing on things that matter, you know, let's focus on you know, characters in games, characters in movies, man spreading, um, and uh, you know, let's have arguments about uh, the word racism, arguments about the word sexism, arguments about what these things really mean. Instead of really trying to tackle, you know, what are the what are the problems going on in the world? And what can we do to help solve these problems? Not enough of that. And not enough of looking at forces that are really, really making things shitty. Um, you know, instead of focusing on the uh, white nationalist type of crap that's been going on. Oh, well, let, let, no, no, the Muslims, the Muslims are, they're going to destroy everything. They're, the Muslims are going to come into the United States and spread Sharia law, and they're going to, they're going to take over the government and all these ridiculous conspiracy theories that people have. It's just like, oh, give me a fucking break, you know, but 
it's okay to uh, shove forth the same things that um, seven years ago would have gotten you booted from YouTube. You know, people talk about how the, uh, you know, freedom of speech, oh, it's gotten so much worse. No, it's actually gotten so much better. And it's only just recently that it's starting to, to be, you know, really, really recently that it's starting to, uh, you know, there's starting to be some censorship. But I mean, look at how Facebook was before in the things that you couldn't talk about. You couldn't even have, uh, you know, people kissing or something, you know, and they, or they'd, they'd take it off. Uh, the slightest thing that could have maybe be interpreted as racist, they'd take off. And, you know, there are things here on, on YouTube, subjects you couldn't talk about. And over the years, you can talk about it, but then people are still going, my freedom of speech, my freedom of speech. I can't bully people. I can't treat people like shit. You're violating my freedom of speech. You know, these, these are the idiots. I'm sorry I'm calling these people idiots. These are the idiots who think that 4chan is somehow... A, 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 is some sort of intellectual something. Nothing. There's nothing intellectual about that. You know? Oh boy, I can be edgy and... Uh, be against the idea of uh, people treating each other decently and against the idea of trying to uh, spread any sort of love and understanding or any of that. You know, no, no, I'm edgy and I, I'm against any of that sort of, those sorts of things. Uh, you know, I'm against any sort of progress. So that means I'm an intellectual. You know, I know I said that in another video, but it's just like, what... what What's wrong with what's wrong with people that are that are thinking this? Oh, I'm 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 a bully, therefore I'm an intellectual. This is this is the this is what people this is how people seem to be uh, trying to rationalize this stuff. And we've got then we have people like Milo who are trying to soften the blow of what uh, uh, alt, the alt-right movement is. Well, well, there's several definitions of it. Yeah, yeah. And that uh, something storm, whatever the hell that website was called, um, goes into all the different sides of it. But what it, it all, all the different sides do eventually lead to white nationalism. White nationalism with hints of uh, white supremacy. I mean, how many how many black people do you see in, in these these uh, you know in all these places that even uh, Milo speaks at, and just any sort of alt right gatherings at these colleges? How many how many black people do you see at them? Audience is mostly white, because you know we we have to fight against this. Well. White genocide. Yes, white genocide. Got got to fight against something that's that's not actually happening because, you know, white nationalism. Should we have uh, KKK members go to speak at colleges? Maybe we should have jihadists go to speak at colleges. It'd be really important. And, and if, you, if you don't have them speak at the colleges, then that's violating people's freedom of speech, right? Or, or something like that. No? No? Well, where's the line? Where do you draw the line? Oh, there is no line. Any viewpoint, no matter how, how what is the word, repugnant, no matter how awful a viewpoint is, let's just... Let's just have it uh, be there in, in colleges as if it's uh, uh, intellectual to th think about bigoted, uh, you know, to consider bigoted viewpoints. Let's bring up statistics over and over again. Let's bring up uh, 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 IQ test statistics across different uh, demographics, right? And let's talk about uh, crime statistics. You know, and as long as you're not directly saying, oh, don't trust these people because look at these statistics, then it's not anything bad. 
but just keep repeating the statistics over and over again in a very passive aggressive manner and then when someone tries to call you out well see I never said this I, I didn't say this I, I didn't I didn't say that kind of racist thing how dare you you uh, insinuate that about me well then why do you keep bringing up these statistics well you know we're gonna need to scream it from the rooftops because people aren't looking at these statistics um, pe plenty of people know about this stuff already people are trying to find answers but you know white nationalism You'll get people will ask things like, uh, well, you know, are the are the Asians uh, uh, are they race are are they fascists? Well, they're not necessarily fascist, but you know, a lot of the uh, a lot of the Asian countries, the culture is kind of racist. I won't uh, deny that at all. Uh, Japan has a bit of racism. Um, China has some racism. Um, you know, does, does this is does this make it uh, good? Well, you know, these countries are racist, so so we should be able to too. Oh, that's a really good argument. Yeah, that's that's great. Let's have an attitude that we shouldn't let other people into the country unless they're white and Christian. Oh, you want to include atheists in that, huh? You want to include so a white and 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 white because they come from white countries. Whiteness, white. None of those blacks. None of those Muslims. White from white culture. White whiteness. Those, uh, those non-criminals. Those smart people. White. Whiteness. White. White people. You know, you, 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 you actually, some of you really, really want uh, countries to be pretty much for particular races it's it's outdated thinking it's it doesn't match the way things are the reality we currently have um you know if if you if people really wanted this this uh racially monolithic sort of uh a setup, you know, maybe that should have been established a long time ago. And you know, uh, if that's really how you feel about it, I I don't think that's the way that we should go. Um, especially in countries like the United States that are a uh, uh, a melting pot. Um, and maybe the United States, maybe the very founding of the United States was, uh, you know, for white people. But does that make does that mean it's does that mean a good thing? And people had corrected me on on some of my my other comments about the oh I I said the United States wasn't founded to be a white country. Well, yeah, it kind of was, but then we realized how bad of an idea that was. Lots of things we later came to realize weren't such a great idea. You know, we shouldn't allow child labor. We shouldn't allow slavery. We need to open things up to different people. And if people of other races and other cultures want to come here and enjoy this diverse way that we have, um, why should we be stopping them? What, because they're not white? And how many people are actually like, you know, pure white, pure, how many people are purebred? Not very many. Not at this point. So things are already sort of like mixing anthills together. But we're humans. We're smart enough to be able to deal with that sort of thing. That's one of the great things about, about being humans. You know, humans are kind of like ants, but really, 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 really intelligent ants. 
so we can handle the scattering of the anthills. You know, I'm sorry, but there is nothing more regressive. There is nothing more culturally regressive that I can really think of for uh, you know, modern industrialized Western countries than than shoving forth a a you know white nationalist sort of thing or any sort of nationalist you know any race nationalist sort of way. I mean, it's just really fucking stupid. You know, if, if I see people arguing the same for really any country, I'm going to say that's fucking stupid. Again, claiming that, uh, well, you know, these other countries are, are this way, well, that doesn't mean we should be too. Well, why can't white people have their own country? Uh, why can't gay people have their own country? Why can't atheists have their own country? Why can't, uh, insert demographic here, have their own country? You know, it's, it's one thing to be cautious about diversity, but it's another thing altogether to be just flat-out anti-diversity. I mean, when things become too diverse, I mean, you can it, things can be too diverse. When you have absolutely conflicting mindsets shoved forth in the same, the same living space, it can get pretty nasty. You know, the more extreme diversity, the more chaos. And as time goes on, we do need to learn to deal with chaos better than, than we have in the past. Um, and that is how that goes. You know, there is a line that needs to be drawn. But the place that people are drawing it has, is ridiculous. It, going the white nationalist route is not I don't see how that's like that is so limiting I'll just say that it's very limiting I still find it disturbing though how we've let this white nationalist kind of mindset just kind of creep up we've let it creep up We've, we've let that 4chan kind of mindset of, you know, the bullying kind of mindset um, control our speech. And we've allowed, you know, th mediums that should be about important conversations, we've allowed them to be bombarded with just bullshit. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, you know, characters and games and movies, um, microaggressions, and things don't that don't amount to a hill of beans. You know, let's let's call any guy that tries to explain anything. Oh, he's mansplaining. Um, and then there's the there's this weird one where oh well, you know well. Uh, uh, black people that get uncomfortable with white people trying to stand up for them, you know, let's call that white splaining. All the while, the people who we should really be speaking against are getting more and more popular. And again, they're having big groupings at colleges. And we're not supposed to say anything about it. We're just supposed to let this massive regressive uh, uh, movement take over so much. I mean, this is this is th the white nationalist sort of thing is true regression. It is true, truly regressive. The alt right, uh, you know, in the <laughs> I, not the side that this this 
figment of people's imagination side where they're, oh no, the alt-right really has a lot of liberal principles. No, fuck you, it's on the right. If you want just to claim that you're a liberal, then be a fucking liberal. Maybe show that, well, the alt-right makes a few good points here and there, fine. But if you're defining, if you're calling yourself alt-right, you cannot say that you're a fucking liberal. I'm sorry, that's a crock of shit. Same with, oh, neoliberal. Look, look, it has the word liberal in it. it that's not liberal. We need to stop it with this whole, you know, oh, I'm being edgy because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm speaking against things that can make the world better. Let's, let's demonize entire groups of people, not give any answers at all, and then pretend that we're doing something, you know, better. Let's not try to find any answers. It's sad.